Hey everybody, it's Chris from Xano back with another video about our new metadata API. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the endpoints that we have available to retrieve your request history. Working with the request history outside of Xano is one of our most requested features because it can sometimes be important to be able to parse that data in a way that you need so you know exactly what's going on in your application. The metadata API now enables you to do just that. So I'm going to take a look at these two endpoints today. If you haven't watched the first video on the new metadata API, I definitely recommend checking that out. We'll make sure to have that linked in the description for you. So the first endpoint we're going to take a look at is this Git endpoint that just allows us to browse the workspace request history. So all I have to do is provide my workspace ID and click execute. And so we can see we have a ton of information about all of the requests that have been made to this endpoint. This just returns the entirety of the request history with no filtering. On this endpoint, you have the ability to specify page and per page values, as well as a branch ID, API ID, query ID, and whether or not you want to actually include the output. The second endpoint that we have available allows you to search your request history. So let's go ahead and try this out. We'll give our workspace ID. We can specify the page per page branch API and query ID again. And then we have the option right here to specify a search. So let's say we want to search for all endpoints that have a status of 200. We'll just provide that in an object and click execute. And so we can see we are returned all of our requests that have a status of 200. But if we actually go to our workspace and we go to our request history here, it looks like we have a couple of 400 bad requests as well. So let's take a look and see if we can search for just those. So I'm going to replace this 200 with a 400 and click execute. And so you can see now it looks like we are returned all of the items from our request history that have a status of 400. So this gives you a really great opportunity to potentially filter by only requests that have errors. You could leverage this API as an example to build yourself a monitoring system. That would send you an alert every time you have an API request that does not return a status 200, which is a success. We're working to add a ton more to the metadata API over the coming weeks, so keep an eye out and make sure to check out the other videos on the metadata API if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.